This is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm here today to tell you about radiation data. As many of you may or may not know, I have been gathering radiation data using my Geiger counter, well I have several Geiger counters, but connected to radiationnetwork.com and funneling all the information into my computer here since April 1st. The reality is I've been getting readings since before then, but I've been posting them on my site since April 1st. My website, anti-proton.com, contains radiation data for, let's see, April, May, June, July, August, and very soon, sometime today, September. That's six months of radiation data. It's not all minute by minute. Well, actually, it is minute by minute, but there are gaps. Generally speaking, the Geiger counter runs continuously, and every minute it updates what its, what its previous minute's uh, reading was. It creates huge sheets of data with uh, uh, average readings, the running average, it has uh, what each minute was, the time, the date, the whole nine yards, everything about it. The reason there are gaps is I've had various issues. So we've lost power, um, I've taken the Geiger counter off to go do some research with it. My uh, best Geiger counter is currently out for repair, so I've had to take my backup Geiger counter off of Radiation Network many times now to use for testing, like right this moment it's not connected. But for the most part, I usually have data for every single day. Sometimes I go for a week or two at a time with non-stop data without any interruptions. So it's most, most data, probably 80%, 90%. The benefit to this is that you can correlate readings with weather patterns that occurred during that time. As a result of that, you can then deduce what you see in the air or don't see in the air. I put notes in my logs that tell you various things, like when my earthquake hit. One of my readings in there, it has a big section on it that says this is where the earthquake hit, the exact minute. And you can look at that if you want to. Uh, I found some highs, I found some lows. Now here's what I'm going to do for you. I I'm going to make sure I stay more up to date. I processed the August data and uploaded it today, but this is September. So I'm going to process the September data and get it uh, uploaded too. Every 15 days, I put up the 15 days worth of data. So you'll find September 1st through 15th and September 16th through however many months there are, or days there are in September. It looks like 30, so do September 30th. If you ever want readings that are more up to date, email me, tom at anti-proton.com, or go to YouTube and email me there, and I'll be happy to send you as much data as you want to. You see, when I tell you what my background reading is, and when I, t when I tell you what I have or have not seen statistically speaking, I will back it up with hundreds of thousands of counts worth of data to show you. I am based in central, oh, excuse me, I'm based in eastern Virginia central eastern Virginia, south of no, Washington, D.C. So I'm not on the west coast, although I do have west coast data on my charts because I, I journeyed to California and I, I put that data on and I think I uploaded it as well. But I am not close to Fukushima, so I'm not going to get the same kind of readings that a lot of other people seem to see. In fact, if you look closely, you'll see my background count stays very close to 14 counts per minute almost all of the time. Anyhow, I'm going to update more of this data for you and try to get it posted, and I need to write an application that will do this more fluidly for me, like update it continuously on the fly. And being a programmer as well as a computer scientist, I can do that. I just haven't had the time because I'm incredibly lazy. But anyhow, this data is here for you. If you like the data, if you're on YouTube, click like on a video of mine. It's nice. It helps. And if you would like, you can send me an email. I'll do what I can. If you have requests, I'll see if I can do them for you. Um, next up, I have my air filters from my car. These are actually used. They put them back in the original boxes. Once I get my good Geiger counter, I'll be testing my cabin air filter and my um, uh, engine air filter. And I'll tell you what the actual results are in those as well. And of course, when I give you results, I give you solid uh, statistically usable data, meaning I like to do more than 40 counts, each individual count, so that you can uh, start calculating standard uh, deviations and that sort of thing. Because, really, holding your Geiger counter over something and letting it wobble around while fussing about what's being shown is fun and all, but it's not really scientific and it's not very useful. 
you always need to back up what you say with science. And if you don't, why say it? This has been Tom from anti-proton.com and um, oh yes, my elevation is 49 feet. You should probably know that if you're calculating for the altitude for my um, Geiger counter readings, 49 feet. Bye-bye.